I'll put an error on it. Um. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait, what? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you no. move the story somewhere, or... A... Hold on. <laughs> How would Why you I move the story? You? I'm the one who wrote the story. <laughs> yeah. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, mm -hmm. then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Mm. Okay. It's a labyrinth. I'll yeah. say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? I think well, we're I find going it in unlikely circles. that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. No. Why not? I was just finding my way, I think. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, um. yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Hmm. Kind of feel bad for him now. I want to help him. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Um. Now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Yes. Do you remember, Stanley? Or do you yes. know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! <laughs> Thanks. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good Indeed. job. Thanks. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We yeah. both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. You know, the constant rebooting is kind of weird, but uh, so long as we don't end up in a zombie apocalypse, I think my heart can take it. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just <laughs> follow the line. How simple is that? Pretty simple. Let's go. Eh. Okay. You see, it's even. the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The yeah, it's even avoiding thought. stuff. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, 
Are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by Focus. the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, um. is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? This is pretty cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd yeah. like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> like it. I love this. It's amazing. Cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Really? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. I actually really like ferns. They're pretty. And they smell like the forest sometimes. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, okay. no, 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 not again, line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted 200, you, 427, there it is. Through, you. No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. I can Restart. see it. Restart. No! I could see mine. That music was amazing, though. Like, best song of whatever year it came out in. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't okay. we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Sure. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, <laughs> a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever mm. it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Your buddy is ready? Oh, uh. no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. That's one crazy line. I wonder if it, if it was hard to make the line go over all of these walls and ceilings and stuff. Getting the texture to go where it's supposed to go. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, Yay. the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk okay. in circles for a minute. Okay, oh. so okay. I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting what? from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Okay. Both oh, doors lead here. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? 
It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? Uh. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Okay. And the timer stopped. Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, I don't whatever think it so. is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Will someone good, come for us? Good question. Will something happen? So, is it a part yet associate, okay. like in Portal? I guess now we just wait. You know, yeah. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Hmm. I'm gonna feel bad for him. He's gonna have forgotten everything, isn't he? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Aww. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Narrator. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Narrator. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all? None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? Hmm. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange, this can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Yeah. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And mm -hmm. Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. 
Why is there a voice in my head dictating <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? What? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, okay. the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. I am okay. <laughs> Stanley of began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Really? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Thank you for watching! If you want to keep up with updates, you can subscribe! And if you want to check out the game I was playing, there should be a link in the description below. Thank you and see ya!